Our students are halfway through learning their colours and fruits and in this lesson we'll be using some new resources and playing some fun games and activities that they'll love. Hello teachers, this is lesson four in our three to five year olds preschool English course and we're in part three of our fruit and colours series of lessons. So we're following on from last lesson where the students learned seven colours and they currently know three fruit and they'll expand on that by reviewing and increasing their vocabulary in those topics and uh, we'll even have a really fun reader and some new games to play. Let's dive in. And as you can see we've got the PowerPoint slides open. Uh, the lessons are available in PowerPoint and also as a PDF download where you can follow through the lesson follow step by step and go through with your students. But today we'll be using the PowerPoint slides to show the lesson. So I'll start off by pressing F5 to open up the slides in presentation mode. And you can see we've opened on the teacher's notes. All right then, so today's objective is to identify and recognize seven colors and six fruits. So last time it was seven colors and three fruits. So we're adding three fruits this lesson. Uh, same structures, what colour is it and what fruit is it. Um, new vocabulary will be including an orange and a melon and a pineapple. Orange the colour, melon and pineapple the fruit. And also the word balloon. Uh, we'll be reviewing the words red, blue, green, purple, yellow, pink, orange, apple, banana and grapes. So just some quick notes. This is a fun lesson. Uh, lots of activities building on from the previous lessons and it'll also be your students first time to have a classroom reader which they're bound to enjoy uh, especially this one it's a good interactive reader to do with your class please press pause now if you'd like to read through the rest of the teacher's notes okay so let's have a look we'll start off like this students come in and see this screen and then you can click to begin the lesson And what colour is the title of today's lesson? Here's our warm up and maintenance index. Most of these you've done in previous lessons as well as part of the warm up section, um, but there's a few new ones as well. So diving straight in, number one, and students come in, greet them by name and ask them to sit down on their cushions. Do your name tags, read out each name, have students put their hands up and say yes when you read their name and then help them to put on their name tags. And next is the glove puppet. Out he pops when everyone shouts hello from his bag. He's been sleeping, but now he's wide awake. Uh, he'll go around all the students saying, hello, hello, what's your name? My name is Cookie Monster. And then he'll say goodbye to them all. See you, goodbye, and go back in the bag to go to sleep. And next up is the hello song. Everyone sings along to know it's the beginning of the lesson, patting their knees, doing the gestures, and having a good sing song. Name writing practice. Again, the same sheets you have. Um, by now, this should be starting to get the hang of it, but keep going. Um, it's always worth, once they start getting used to tracing over their names, to have some blank lines and to try and write their actual names on the lines. And now it's the homework check. Let's bring up the homework from last class. Uh, cupcake colour. Uh, just a quick note on the spelling. You can see it's American English. All of our materials, uh, lesson plans, uh, resources are all in American English or British English, so you can choose whichever language you need. So again, have each student uh, show you their homework, uh, go through each sheet with the students, ask some questions. What colour is this? Yellow, very good. And then put a mark on the sheet to show they've done a good job and give lots of praise. Exercise routine again, get everyone standing up, jumping, turning around, hands up, hands down, running around uh, to burn off a bit of excess energy. Right, onto the colours. So this is a review of the colours from last lesson. 
Uh, we've got all of your seven colored pieces of paper, which we'll use. And it's the same routine as usual. Hold up one. What color is it? And elicit the color and chorus the color and then move on to the next color. What color is it? Okay, next we'll play the three color games that we do in every lesson. Uh, we've got the color pass where you hold up a color and then pass it around the class. Everyone saying what color it is as they pass. Green, 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 green. Then color touch where you put the colors on the floor in the middle. Now there's seven colors, so it gets even more interesting. Everyone hands up and the teacher shouts out what color to touch and everyone rushes to touch that color. And next play color hold up uh, with this game. Give each student a color and then the teacher shouts out one color and the student holding that color has to hold it up. And there are variations where students with the color can jump or turn around or run or do a different action. Okay, now on to a new game. Again, reviewing the colors. Um, this one's called Balloon Kick. And this is great fun. Students will love it. Uh, could be a bit, a bit of mayhem with the balloons all over the classroom being kicked, but it's good fun. And as long as you keep everyone in order and demonstrate what to do, then everything should go smoothly. So you'll need seven balloons, each of the different review colors. So as you see, I've got a nice big bag of balloons here. I bought for about a dollar. And before class, don't blow any of the balloons up. Have them ready to go, the, the seven different colors. And when, you, when you're at this point of the lesson, hold up one of the balloons and ask, what color is it? And elicit the color. Then you blow up the balloon. They really enjoy this part. Okay. Tie the end. And then now you've done that, you can pat the balloon to one student. Like that. Whoop. Let's try and do it towards the camera. And encourage him to catch it and say the colour and then pat it back to you. Then do with another balloon. Maybe this time the pink one. And go through all seven balloons each time blowing them up and then patting to a different student, having them say the color back to you and then keep them behind or keep them somewhere where the students can't get at them. And then for the actual activity. So you can get all the balloon and get everyone to stand up, stand behind you or away and line the balloons up on the floor in a line. And first of all, model the activity. So say, okay, Jeremy, kick the green balloon and run up and give the balloon a really good kick, kick. Okay, and then get a, a student to come up and say, okay, Kenji, kick the yellow balloon and let him go out and give it a really good kick. And it's great fun. You get everyone like coming up and kicking the balloons off the line. And then just for a little bit of fun at the end, you can later on have a little bit of a play with the balloons. And to round off the review section, we've got the rainbow song again. We've sung this in the last class, um, so everyone knows what to sing. So you can either play the audio or play the song video. Um, as I said last time, what I like to do is get everyone to get their seven crayons out, put them in front of them uh, in the correct order of the song. And as you play the song, they can touch each crayon in time with the words of the song. And then that brings us all out of the review section and onto the new learning and practice section. Right, fruit. So we've already done three fruit. So we'll review those and then bring three more fruit into the lesson. So we've already got apple, grapes, and banana. So put those in your box before the class. And today's new fruit, we've got orange, melon, it's a watermelon, but that's fine, melon, and pineapple. Okay, so before class, put, prepare those and put them in your box. And then in class, bring out your box and give it a shake. And you'll get everyone's attention instantly. Now you can open it up. And first of all, start off with the review fruit. So you'll be doing it like this. What's this? 
That's right, apple. And what's this? Banana. And this. Grapes. Oh, what's this? And this is the new fruit. What's that? Okay, it's orange. Everyone say orange, 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 and three times. And then you'll do the same for the pineapple. They'll be guessing what it is once it comes up. Maybe they won't know for a bit. And the last one, melon. And again, mind biting each fruit. Mm, yummy! Or, mm, oh, yuck! And you can ask different students to taste them and also to say yummy or yuck. Okay, so now we've got the fruit out, we'll play fruit fetch. Um, you'll need to have enough plastic fruit pieces or even flashcards so that there's at least uh, one per student. So if you've got 12 students, you'll need 12 pieces of, of the fruit. So that'll be two of each. Um, so either plastic fruit or flashcards for those. Then have all your students sit down on the floor and same as we did last class, you'll model the activity by throwing the fruit all over the classroom, over there, over there, over there. Then model saying, okay, Jeremy, give me a red apple. Stand up and go over to the apple, find it, take it and then put it back into the box. Okay, and then have the students do the same by saying to different students, okay, give me the orange, orange, both colors. And off she goes, picks it up, try and encourage her to say orange, orange, puts it in the box. And do for all the students in the class until all your fruit have been collected and put back into your box. Okay, now this is a great fun new game called Fruit Rope Jump. And for this, you've got your box, you've got your fruit, but you'll need a length of rope. And here is the rope that I use. It's a children's skipping rope, perfect for this. And what you'll do is you'll lay the rope lengthways across the classroom floor. And the idea is students will have to jump over the rope. Now, for the little ones, the three-year-olds, the four, four-year-olds, um, just lying it on the floor is difficult enough. It's good fun for them. They'll, they'll teeter over to the rope and then they'll hop over it. And there's no need to hold it up. Uh, it's fine having it on the floor. And then after they jump over the rope, the next part of this is to pick a fruit that the teacher tells them to pick up and place it in the box. So first of all, model this. Stand at one end of the classroom shout out uh, a fruit. So for example, Jeremy, put the apple in the box. Then run up, jump over the rope, pick up the apple and put it into the box. Then have a student do it. So you'll say, Mario, put the banana in the box. And then because it's the first student, help that student to do the activity, run up, jump over and you can shout jump when they're doing that. Pick up the right fruit and then put it in the box. And you'll do that for each student uh, all throughout the activity. So everybody has a go. So I hope these videos are helpful. Please do let me know uh, by liking and subscribing. If you want to keep up with any new lessons that we have, uh, subscribe is a great way to get notifications when we have new lessons posted. Uh, also, please feel free to comment I'd love to hear any questions you might have or any other ideas you, that you could have for adding to this lesson. Okay, on with the lesson. And next up it's playtime. Uh, we've already got balloons in your classroom, so that could be something that the kids will want to play with. Uh, anything else, they can play away uh, and you can join in with them, have some one-on-one -on -one time, have a quick chat. And also it's a good chance for a restroom break and to get the next part of your lesson ready. Which will be a review. And a review quiz. Uh, this is on the colours and fruit. 
Uh, this is on the PowerPoint slide, so if you're using the PDF lesson plan, you can skip this part here. Uh, it's the same as last, last lesson. Uh, you press space to start, and different colors and fruit pop up, and the students have to raise their hands up, and the teacher asks the first one up what it is. Yellow. And then go through. Pineapple. Purple. Orange. Apple. Orange. Red. Green. Melon. Banana. Blue. Grapes. Pink. And you can see we're real, really building up their vocabulary with colours and fruit there. There's quite a lot. And um, give lots of praise for the correct answers. Uh, if they're not sure, you can always ask another student, or if they get it wrong, ask another student for the right answer, or just encourage that student who got it wrong to think again. Right, now we're on to the classroom reader. Uh, this classroom reader is called What Colour Am I? And it reviews the colours. Um, and this is something that the students really enjoy. Now we've got two, three options for doing the reader. First of all, you can see if you've got the PowerPoint presentations, uh, a good way to do it is just by using the pictures for each page on the PowerPoint slide. So if I press there to, you can see it's rolling through the pages of the reader. Another option is to play the reader video, which I'll do here. ESL Kid Stuff Classroom Readers Level Starter What color am I? I am an apple. What color am I? I am red. I am the sun. What color am I? I am yellow. Okay, so that gives you an idea. And the third option is to go onto our website and download the, the reader, um, print it off and construct it, which it's a little bit more work, but it really works well because it's nice to have something physical when you're reading a story to your, to your students. And here is the reader that I've uh, printed off from our website. There's full instructions on the website for how to construct your reader and all the files and links to download all the different readers that we have. Uh, again, you can see it's in American English. We also have the British English version. Uh, and this is what you do in class. You'd have everyone to come gather around and you'd show them the book, the reader, and you'd show them, oh, what color am I? Let's see. And you'd open the page. Oh, what's that? Yes, that's right. It's an apple. I am an apple. What color am I? What color is it? Red? Let's see. Turn the page. I am red. Yes, that's right. Oh, look. I am the sun. What color am I? Ask your students if you can elicit the right color. I am yellow. Yes. And then you'd work your way through the reader, getting everyone involved, shouting out what the different objects are. They might not know all, they might not, not, not know the word flower yet or grass. But as you read it, they can see from the pictures what they are. And they'll definitely be able to tell you the colours, or at least guess some of the colours. And you go through. At the end, there's a little activity. So they've got the rainbow. What colours am I? And they'd have to try and tell you as many of the colours as they can before you tell them the colours. And then you say, look at your clothes. What colours are they? And you can do stuff like, look, blue. And ask all the students to say what colours the clothes are that they're wearing and I think that's the end yeah and that's the end okay so we've read through the story once and we're going to read it through one more time 
You can either read it physically with your book or on screen on the PowerPoint slide, or you can even play the video. And as you do that, you're going to give out the worksheet by clicking here. Here it is. You can download this from our website as part of the lesson resources pack. And as you read through the story again, uh, you will stop each time to allow students to color in the objects from the story. So for example, there you can see the first page, you'll read, I am an apple. What color am I? Turn over. I am red. Okay, everyone color in red on your worksheets. And you can model that as well, color in the color of the apple red. And go through the story, stopping each time, or you can elicit the colors and have students complete their worksheets. Okay, so that brings us up to the end of the main part of the lesson, and we'll finish off with our wrap up section. So we're into the homework again. Same routine, hold up the worksheet. Here you are, here it is. You can download this and print it out before class and hold it up and model what to do. In this case, you'll be holding up and asking, what's this? Yes, it's a pineapple and what color is it? Take out your crayons and color in the yellow pineapple and do the same for some of the other objects. Then give out the worksheets to your students and tell them to put their homeworks into their bags. On to the glove puppet saying goodbye, out he jumps, says the net, ask everyone their names, and then says goodbye before going back to sleep. Then the goodbye song, chance to sing this song, enjoy it, and knowing that it's nearly the end of the lesson, doing all the gestures as you sing along. And then finally, goodbye and a quick check. Uh, this time you'll be showing different fruits to the students and asking them what the fruit is and what color the fruit is. So you can use your plastic fruit or you can use flashcards or even the worksheet if you just colored it all in from the homework. And that's the end of the lesson. Uh, if you enjoyed that and found it helpful, please click like, uh, please subscribe if you want to be updated for new lessons and feel free to add any comments, any questions you may have, or if you uh, want to add anything to our lesson that you think will be useful. Okay, thank you.